we're through to a cup semi-final. That's a bit of a rarity these days. Talk me through that one. Yeah, um, what a game of football. Um, we came here extremely stretched, but can't fault the lads' effort. It was unbelievable. Lads playing out of position. Lads only back from injury. Um, yeah, and, and obviously utilising our bench again, you know. It's the last three, four games now we've absolutely maximised everybody at our disposal. Um, so, look, really pleased. It's a, it's a great performance. Um, a bit nervy at the end, but look, we're absolutely over the moon to be, to be in a semi-final. Um, and yeah, look, the boys fully deserve it based on, based on the, the work I've seen. You know, the evidence is there that they deserve everything that's coming their way at the moment. We talked obviously on Saturday about being the better team with 11 mm -hmm. and certainly in the game with 10 tonight we certainly looked very much in control of, of most of the play. Corrine didn't really threaten that often. Um, credit goes to, as you say, their couple of players in position. I thought Tiernan Mulvena did very well at left back mm -hmm. to Marshall Conor McHenry for the, the majority of the match. What do you think about that? Yeah, look, Tiernan was superb. We, we, we pulled them early. Um, we pulled them early on and told him that we felt you know we felt he could he could compete well in the 1v1 duel you know Tiernan's really really aggressive player front foot player um, and again probably similar size to Connor and, and Tiernan's well put together so we knew that if he got close and you know kind of laid a glove on him that that, that it would wobble him a little bit so um, we, we felt that would be a good match up and a good duel and, and you know luckily it's paid off and you know credit to Tiernan because he has to go and then try and deliver that performance as much as we feel he may be able to do it he still has to deliver and, and, and he absolutely delivered he was fantastic and his true ball for the first goal as well that needs a mention that was a superb ball so listen I just said to Tierney you're a utility man he plays, he's played right back he's played left back now he's played middle of the park he's played on the wing you know it's it's um, it's really really good to have somebody like that in the, in the squad and um, you know he deserves all the plaudits this evening ah, look come here everyone was fantastic but Tierney in particular it's, it's very alien to go as a right-footed midfield player to play left back, you know, so I felt he was superb. Right, as well, obviously, Jack's got another goal, another goal for AP, bit of form again coming there, and then Hendo pops up a few minutes to go with a cracking finish as well. So goals are being spread around, the team performance was there as well. Yeah, yeah, look, um, and we said from, from day one, you know, when people said we hadn't got a recognised goal scorer, but we, we had to find a recipe to score goals. I, I think we're now starting to see proof of of that, Callum scores the weekend, and we've three different goal scorers tonight. So um, it's really good. Great to see AP. You know, he didn't let the, the first big miss affect his game, and he reacts really, really well to the to the to the spillage from from um, Peter's uh, shot. So he, he does well in the second ball, and and uh, you know finishes it off really, really well. So delighted for him. Jack takes his goal fabulously well, um, and likewise, I thought Peter Campbell was unplayable at times tonight, um, and you know. Most players probably would have had a shot in that situation and he delayed and delayed and delayed and let Cohen get up on the outside and a bit like a horse race, you know, just getting over the line and, and he just gets there in front and, and, and you know, was nice and composed to uh, to finish the game off and then obviously we've an nervy ending, but yeah, it's a bit of a freak goal, isn't it, you know, but these things happen and, and you know, we've we've managed to get through it in the end. I think the, probably the, the biggest thing was we knew before the match that if we won and uh, results went a certain way that we were going to end up with a, a fairly tasty semi-final. Uh, Port Adelaide beating Lock all 2-0, sets up a, a middle after derby in that one. Yeah, listen, look, it's one for the fans to look forward to. Obviously, we don't have the uh, the Boxing Day fixture this year um, as Port Down or, or in the on the um, in the championship. So, look, um, absolutely, you know, it's, it's, it's a great game to, to look forward to now in February. And, um, yeah, listen, I would expect to see a, a full house in, in Mournview for that and for our lads to to go and play in that atmosphere and, and that derby, we have to, you know, we have to be ready for that. But look, we can put that aside now. That's that's a number of weeks away. Um, it's back to business now, Thursday night, and, and, and get prepared for what's going to be a difficult game away to Lauren of Ryder. Just got to mention that. I mean, we, uh, unfortunately, we haven't. While well, we've competed well with them um, over the, the season that they have been back in the league, we haven't managed to beat them yet. Um, mm. What's your thoughts going into that one? Yeah, look, it's, it's it's difficult. It's the hardest. It's the hardest place probably to go in the league at this moment. Um, their home record's absolutely outstanding, and you know they've obviously beaten a lot of the, the bigger the bigger bigger sides there as well. So um, look, we we know the we know the task we face, and and 
look, we'll get back in tours on the training pitch and obviously it'll be lighter than normal and, and, and be best prepared for for Friday. But um, yeah, look, we have to come up with, with, with a plan to try and get something from the game like we do in every game. And yeah, look, that'll be our focus. It's going to be a difficult, difficult challenge, but one that we, we embrace now in this moment because we're also in an extremely good moment and confidence is quite high in the group and you know we're hoping we'll have a few bodies to sprinkle back into that for Friday and you know get that get that energy back into the group. <laughs>